there. Yep. Uh, but we're going to talk a little bit more like Billy's things here and there, baseball, because it's you know that time for baseball season. Yes, so one is. of the first things we kind of talked about, and we have a couple kind of topics here and there we can talk baseball wise. But the main one we are kind of getting to today is going back to something we haven't done since I think 2021. We haven't done this segment. And it's actually doing brackets. And since it is the middle of March Madness, and even though it is not basketball, so ba- sport yep. that starts with a B uh, and an A and an S. Um, <laughs> they're in sport, but it's <laughs> the baseball. Word ball in it. What? Yeah. <laughs> do I want that? Yes, you do. <laughs> this is what happens when anyway. you stay in the room and listen to us podcast. <laughs> yes, exactly. Good lord. Anyway, <laughs> so funny. <laughs> God. So anyway. Uh, anyway. <laughs> so, uh, like so we're mentioned, we put though, together, we do, we do I put a bracket. together a mini bracket of the teams because obviously in that time, not every Phillies team was kind of the best. So for us, I forget what the kind of way we're going about it. If it was like the best team or kind of. I think we're kind of going I think on the best. The angle we were going was the best team in general. Now it was kind of because I I wanted to of, differentiate this versus like most popular team. Like we've enjoyed like what the team kind of has because the right, last couple of years say, there are some. The last very, three very years at least teams, have yes. been very very popular. Yes, in exactly. Terms of like cl- clubhouse and right. how they kind of are personality exactly. wise. So, but you can still say how we have it from the like 07 to like 11 teams, too. Yes. So, here's how we have it ranked. The earliest team in this bracket is the 2007 Philly team, and the latest team, of course, is last year's team, 2023. And it it doesn't make sense to do this year's team because the season hasn't started yet. Exactly. So, the way we're doing this is in uh, with the Phillies 2024 season coming up uh, this Thursday, home and season opener against the Atlanta Braves. Uh, that'll be fun to piece together, like you said. Our, if you guys want, uh, I will, the best team. if you are interested in the people who are watching this video, since it will end up being a video someday, um, let us know in the comments below which Phillies team do you think was the best in that time, or for your I guess during preferred this, yes. time period during the two thousand yes, and word, which team do you think was the best? Even if it's not Phillies of your team that you watched growing up, which one was the best that you saw? There you go. So starting off the uh the here's the, the seed rankings. Here's how it's gonna work. That's number one seed, of course, the 2008 Phillies. Spoiler alert, they won the World Series that year against the 2021 Jeffrey, Phillies. I didn't get through that season yet. <laughs> I said spoiler alert. <laughs> uh the uh number fifth uh what? team. I don't know why I have it I like this, but whatever. Well, that's I'm like looking at you have the crack here. All right, so anyway, so uh, sorry, number two team will do it that way. Uh, yeah, I, I was not sure if you were going by matchup or if you're going by. Uh, I, I, the, all right, seating. well, I was going to go by matchup. Oh, okay, well, okay. Uh, 2008 versus 2021, uh, one versus 18. Number two is one the 2011 Phillies versus the 2007 Phillies, which is the seventh seed. The third seed is the 2009 Phillies up against the 2010 Phillies. Uh, number six, number four is the 2022 Phillies. Number five is the 2023 Phillies. So starting there's with some tough, it, there's some tough ones in here. But I think are. the easy ones to kind of do is the first seed, and I feel like yes. the second and seventh seed. So the top and bottom. So let's yes. so right, let's start number, at the top. The yes, number, number one. Seed. one Seed is OA Phillies against the underdog 2021 Phillies. Yeah, it's the, no that 2021 team did not make the playoffs. No, they did make However, it over 500. Bryce Harper won a National League MVP that year. Was so MVP. that was a that was the year we had McCutcheon. Ridiculous. Yep, no secret. The OA team obviously dominates this. And this they, one won, the they won the World Series. Out of they all won these the World teams, Series. The one Even team if they all. didn't win the World Series, let's say if they lost in the NLCS, or even lost the World Series, they would still be past the 2021 team. A huge reason why is because not only did they make it to the playoffs, but they captured their second straight NL East title. 
Um, and again, the second time that they've made the playoffs since 1993. So that was huge. Yeah. Um, but again, it's no secret. They dominated their way um, throughout the playoffs. Uh, they lost only two games, I think, during the playoffs. Uh, mm-hmm. One in the NLCS and one in the – I'm sorry, they actually lost two games in the NLCS because they went to six games, I believe. Um, they won in L.A. against the Dodgers, and they won in five against Tampa Bay. So either way, three total games they lost in, during the whole playoffs. Even though it's only three rounds, so a really impressive team. Yeah. Next one. This one's a little tough. Um, I don't 20. think it's as tough as I, I realize it is, but like on, on paper, you could argue it is pretty tough. Uh, yeah. The number four seed, the 2022 Phillies, against the number five seed, 2023 Phillies. This so the last, one that made uh, it to the, ser- team, the World Series and lost, or the team that made it to the NLCS. And lost in game seven. Lost. Yeah. Um, I would both say... Both had pretty much the same personnel. Just a couple yeah. different pieces. You know, there's a couple different pieces. Not much um, change. You could certainly argue. 22, you had Hoskins. Hoskins was out all of 23. That's true. That's true. But it was you had, in 2022. You had Segura in 22. Yep. But in, in Austin 23, you have Trey Turner, which he did not have in 2022. But Turner only played a good month and a half. For me, and that's, I think for this one, it's 22. I thought the 22 team was. Oh, 100%. 22. No, it, it's definitely 2022. Um, if you were talking, again, the, if, you, if this was about like personality in the team, like that way, popularity wise, it would be a lot tougher because it's the same it team. It a couple pieces but, here and there. But we're talking about the better team. And I feel like 22 was, I feel like everybody was still at, kind of at their best still. Yes. And also, not that, like their pitching was outstanding. It that just year, kind of especially sucked because it, it, it was just kind of like this past playoffs at the worst time it kind of crashed and burned. Yep. There's that. So the next um, one, this, mm-hmm. this is a tough one. The number three seed in the 09 Phillies, which again, lost in the world series uh, to the number six, the 2010 Phillies. So this they is lost back. In game six of the NLCS to the eventual world series champions, the San Francisco giants. Yeah. Oh, that's this is actually this is a tough one. That I think this is the toughest matchup. Yeah, I need to actually because that. so looking 09, you had a very dominant Cliff Lee, Cole Hamels, who was sh- extremely shaky. If you even had a decent slash pretty good Cole Hamels, Phillies would have won, but he yeah. was brutal that year. It's true. Brad Lidge wasn't the same. He still was solid, but I'm. How can you? He wasn't the same as he was in a way. Forty-eight for forty-eight, yeah. perfect save opportunities throughout the regular season and playoffs. Like that's unheard of. Yeah. Um. You had Pedro Martinez for the Phillies, who was pretty solid. You saw Joe Bland, uh, who didn't do too bad. I think Jay Happ was still there. Um. You saw Worth, of course. Um, I'm trying to think some other. Uh, you you uh, introduced Raul Abanez, who played a major role actually in the outfield and for the Phillies bats in that lineup. So that was huge. Then the 2010 team, that team was just a different animal, I feel like. Um, that was the first You year added Roy Holiday. Roy Holiday. Yep. You and that Roy was. Was that 2010 or was that technically 2011? He's, his first year, he played. He only played 15 games, so they must have acquired him at the deadline or something. But you no, know, they definitely did give him a deadline. I I don't know why I thought he was at the 2011 team only. He was, but he he probably was 2010. Jamie okay. Moyer was still there um, too. Jamie Moyer, great great pitcher. Um. Oh yeah, wasn't 2010 the one where uh, Holiday had his no hitter? Yep, and perfect game in the same season. Yeah, perfect game was in May. Uh, the the no hitter was in the Florida playoffs. Marlins, and then the no hitter was against Cincinnati. Game one of the NLDS. I. Mm, it's easy really to say the 09 team because they made it the farther team, right? Exactly. The farthest, kind of like the twenty two team. They, I, I, it's very tough, but I'm going to do the twenty two team because they went a little farther. They went to this, right. They lost, but they still made it to the. Mm. What's what next? would you what would you say for this team? Who do you think is the better team from that 09 to ten team? Yeah, are you saying on paper, or we were saying what 
at the actuality of how that season went. I guess actuality, because on paper, oh man. Because think about it this way, Cliff Lee was. How many, he was how there many for 09, but then he did get traded like at seven, one point and then came three. back in 2011. So I don't know if he was there technically or not for the 2010 team. That's so tough. Let, let me, Again, I, I need I'm, to fact check myself real quick. I'm still going to probably say the 09 team. You had Hamels, Halliday, Bland, Kyle Kendrick, Royal as well, Jay Jamie Hab, Jamie Moyer. You had Vance Worley for a little bit too. What are you saying? Jeffy? I'm not going to lie. As much as I love the 09 team, You're I think the 2010 team would win that. Uh, this is where having you still had Wilson and Valdez. Valdez. So we're kind of split on this one. Yeah. yeah. Because you still have like the thing that helps you a lot is you had the core Chooch, Howard, Utley, J. Roll, Victorino, Worth. You had six out of eight positions in the field that were still from the 018. The only thing is technically different Raul Bondias, who I think you could argue is a upgrade over um, Pat Burrell, even though Pat Burrell growing up is one of my favorite players. Yeah, I think that Abanya yeah. is, is a decent, decent upgrade over Pat Burrell. I'm, I'm actually willing to change it because I like Roy Holiday and he had the no hitter, so I'm gonna go. And and, again, and that's the biggest change for me is Roy Holiday was he was unstoppable. That I mean, year. I already know. Um, I kind of already have a feeling the two teams were kind of gonna be debating, and it's gonna be kind of hard by the end. Of oh yeah, game. yeah, no, hundred. I, I I agree with that. because. The oh, next one's pretty easy. The 2011 team kind of demolishes the 07 team. Oh, yeah. So here's the, uh, it's this new secret that 2011 team against the uh, number two team against the 07 seventh ranked team. Obviously, it's no secret who's going to win that one. So hey, obviously, rounds, 2011. So we got we the 08 Phillies and the 23 Phillies. And then we have the 10 and 11. Do you, do you mean 2022? Yeah, that's what I meant. 22 <laughs> and the 08 Phillies. The 08 Phillies have that one because, again, that won the World Series. And as much fun as the 22 team was, and even though you did have Bryce Harper, you have uh, Zach Wheeler, Bryce and Nola, Stott, Zach Wheeler, Nola, JT Romuto. Chooch is a better catcher, in my opinion, than JT Romuto. Yep. Uh, Cole Hamels is, to me, better than Roy Holiday, or not Roy Holiday, wow, sorry, better than... Uh, Aaron Nola and Zach Wheeler, in my opinion. So yes, Hamels. He on those, was especially again on those that year. He alone, was won the, the NLCS Phillies, MVP in the World Series MVP. Yeah. Like he was, and Harper is right up there also. with guys like uh, Howard and Utley. Howard had won the MVP not far. Up. I think he won the so 07 that year MVP. I right? think, um, Howard won 06 and 06, that's what it was. Um, he won rookie of the year. I'm sorry. And then J roll won 07 MVP. I think Howard, uh, yeah, he, he was, he definitely then he was won. fifth and 07 and second and 08 for MVP. Yeah. For and Roy now Holiday. Utley, then three again. He, and Utley 09. should have won the 08 MVP. I don't know how he didn't. Um, he was unstoppable that year too. He, it's so tough though, because 08. it's, it's 08. <laughs> it, it, it's got it's one reason the and one reason is, over. You won they the won. World Series, of course. It's yeah, it's again, it, yeah. It, it's a tough call, but yeah, you know, like I said, the end goal is always to win the World Series. The 08 team did it. Yeah, moving on. So we're saying 08. Yeah, all right, 08 to the final, of course. So 09, 2010 versus I'm sorry, 2011. 2020, 2020, 2011. Again, I think it's 2011. 2011. That's when you do because they the had inch that rotation. That's the best. That's the best rotation they've had. Wins. They, that's the back, best rotation. Back had. then, like I think the 102 win season that was like unheard of. Now I'm sure there's other teams that could have easily done it, but like for yeah. a Phillies franchise, they had, hadn't done that in a while though. So like to show like that much dominance. Um, the obviously your, the your weakest pick for that awful, year was but, probably Roy Oswald. And he you wasn't have, that bad. Yeah, you like, had even least, Bland, you could argue, but he, again, wasn't that bad. Was Bland on that 2011 team? He was because he was part of the Phillies' big five, they called them. Uh, yeah. All right. So now it comes down to 
the 102 oh, yeah. win yeah. Um, 2011 team, ranked number two against number one 08 team. I mean, it's probably no secret, but again, the ultimate goal is to win a World Series championship. Now, it, it's it's tough all, but I still think, like I said, unfortunately, at the end of the day, if you, it's literally you win a World Series, then that's the goal always. So if you don't win it, yeah, it's, it's not like it ever happened. Basically. So I guess you so, do have to say the 08 team, but if you're saying you it on paper thing, then I, I think on could. paper, it's I think you team. can argue the two. But if we're saying on what actually happened in that year, it's then obviously 08. No chance. Uh, yeah. But again, on paper, if we're doing on paper route, I think 11 can dominate. 